Hey, what is going on guys, Danny here, and today I want to talk about an article that was posted from Game Debate. I'll have a link in the video description so you guys can check out the article and read all the details for yourselves. I'm just going to be talking to you guys about some of the interesting things from that article, my opinion, and what I think about all this. Basically, the article states that AMD's upcoming Polaris 10 GPU will offer near 980 Ti performance for just $300. $300. Now this was reported from journalists who had been invited to a closed door event that was held by AMD in Taiwan. So nothing official from AMD themselves, so take this with a grain of sodium chloride. We also don't know what kind of testing or benchmarking they did. It could have just been synthetic benchmarks, and it could have also been a DirectX 12 title in which if you have seen DirectX 12 benchmarks for a few games, then you will know that a 390 has outperformed a 980 Ti. Keeping in mind that a 980 Ti currently retails for about $600 to $650, and in Canada, they go for about $900. Yep, very brutal. But $300, man? If this turns out to be true, and if they actually price it at that or close to it, then the price to performance ratio will be through the roof. The new Polaris 10 GPUs are on the new FinFET. 14 nanometer process, while the past 7000 series to 200 series and the current 300 series and Fury series of cards were all on the 28 nanometer process. So it's been quite it's been so, uh, quite some time since we've seen a shrink in node size, which makes the Polaris, Polaris 10 GPUs a pretty big deal and why they're getting so much hype. With that said, many people are speculating this won't come as a surprise due to the new chips having higher transistor density, better power efficiency, and with the shrink in node size, this will allow Polaris to be cheaper for AMD to produce. Another thing that I want to point out was that when Nvidia released the 970, it matched the performance of the 780 Ti. So if that trend holds true, then the GTX 1070, if uh, Nvidia decides to call it that, will match or come close to matching the performance of the 980 Ti, and therefore it would only make sense for AMD to release a card that could go toe to toe with it. Now in the article, they also state that AMD views Polaris 10 in its mainstream range, which will be succeeding the 300 series cards, and that obviously includes the 390 and 390X. So they also include a chart that displays the price to performance ratio of the 980 Ti, the Fury X, and the upcoming Polaris 10 GPU which they speculate to be called the 490X. And in the, uh, in the, in the graph you can see that the new card being si significantly better than the other two cards. So hearing this type of rumor makes me really excited for the upcoming graphics cards. One of the reasons why I will be happy if this is true, because remember these are just rumors, is that a lot of mainstream gamers who are very interested in, to getting, in, in, in getting into VR and 4K will now have the opportunity to do, to do so. You couldn't really experience those things without really breaking the bank, but hopefully Polaris and Pascal can change that. AMD did state themselves that one of their goals with Polaris was to bring VR to the mainstream because if you think about it, in order to have a smooth playable experience with VR, you need to have something that can push at least 90 frames per second or above at 1080 by 1200 resolution per eye. And to do that, it's not an easy job at all. So the only solution was to have a beefy graphics card, and we all know that the, those don't come without a hefty price. The power efficiency will also be huge for many people. Having a uh, TDP of just 175 watts will be beneficial to everyone. There would be so much room for overclocking depending on if they allow you to do it or not, and you could easily have multi-GPU setups without the worry of having to upgrade your power supply. Another thing is that many gamers are still running older generation cards because they simply weren't happy with the minimal performance increases with these past few generation of cards. But again, these are just rumors so don't get your hopes up too much. Let's all just look forward to when these cards will be fully unveiled and demoed at Computex 2016 which will be held from May 31st to June 4th. Well guys, that pretty much covers what I had to say in regards to this rumor. If you found this video informative and interesting, then hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you going to be picking up a Polaris or Pascal GPU or are you going to pass on them? If you're also interested in seeing more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.